Greetings and good evening everybody, this is Aprelia and today we're going to be looking into Imogen version 3 which is the Google's own texture image AI model which is a competitor to things like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion and Leonardo. And the thing that makes this very competitive is the fact that it's actually free to use, there's no credit based systems, you're able to prompt out many images as you desire as of right now. Yes, they also do have a premium subscription but it seems like only 5 to 10 percent of the features are actually behind that paywall. You're able to basically do almost everything with the free version, while a lot of the other competition have like their free versions only having like 20 to 40% of the features available. So this is a very competitive choice for a lot of people who are trying to save money or just don't want to pay anything for image generation. Now there's a one downside. It's actually region blocked, so you need to have a VPN if you're European to basically access it. There's a couple of good recommendations from me, NordVPN and a couple of others which basically give you the access to get into the site so I'm going to leave those links down below in case you want to support me and get a VPN so you can use this feature because the VPN is going to be significantly cheaper compared to mid-journey subscription or something like that. So the image tree is able to do a lot of high quality images. I mean, look at these things. This is almost photorealistic, very good compared to a lot of other things. Here's a fantasy art, another wildlife shot, very good black and white shot very detailed very good looking and this also like shows that it's able to be creative so these are very very good shots and i obviously experimented with the platform myself and i can tell it is able to do stuff like this whatever it's going to be able to do very good digital art or anime art to our liking will be seen because some platforms are better at that and some people are some platforms are just not very good at that so they're sometimes more specialized on certain type of a style but there's two platforms where you can basically prompt is Gemini and ImageFX. So the Gemini platform is a lot more limited. So here I have a sonic image that I was able to prompt out earlier. And excuse me, the loading times, I'm using a VPN. So connecting to America is actually taking a considerable amount of time. I didn't really prompt out much of things here, but I am liking what I'm seeing here. I just like sonic on a bathtub and it's basically able to do it. It's you know, physics-wise, pretty accurate. It's kind of like a weird clay animation thing versus a like game model. It's kind of like an interesting blend of things. You're not able to do a lot of editing here on Gemini, but it's like do a picture of mix between a duck and a cat hybrid animal. And we can, we can check out this later, but this is a good way to also generate. There's also Gemini Advanced. I haven't really used Gemini myself that much. I'm not a big fan of Google, as some of you already know, but it's able to prompt out these relatively fast. <laughs> and this does a pretty accurate image here, like, you know, mixture, it looks like a hybrid animal. And the, you can see that it's not real, this bit of, the coloring is pretty accurate though, I have to say. I mean, it's a bit too gray over here and too, too brown over here. So maybe I could have tried out a bit of different prompt that, hey, this is actually a pretty good image. Now let's get into the actual platform over here on ImageFX. I'm gonna show out some of the stuff that I was able to prompt out earlier. So I was doing some like, it gives you a lot of like suggestion prompts, which is really good for videos like these when you really try to think about something on the spot. So steampunk flying bicycle in the air powered by cute scroll, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it has the Averto goggles. It's vibrant, it's painterly. This looks like a children's book illustration, a lot more higher quality. The pause and everything matches up there in a good spot. Okay, this could have been here, but it's very minor detail. Okay, but very minor detail, very accurate. And a lot of the other ones that I also have to prompt out were really, really good. These use a bit of a different style, but very impressive fantasy art. I also was able to prompt out a lion and you can do in painting, but the negative here is in painting only works with one to one resolution or dimension images. So I basically prompted out, please give me a crown for the lion. These were kind of mixed results. This one looks very weird. This one looks when you look at it from zoomed out, the colors kind of don't match up here. And then we have third one. This one wasn't too bad. I mean, the, the hair looks a bit more natural here. Something wrong is happening with the eyes here. You can see two irises over there that's kind of distorted, not, not very good quality. Here, the iris is totally gone. I don't think I remember in painting the eyes at all. So it somehow is like changing that stuff. So that was kind of weird. So let's get back into image effects and let's look into the things that you can actually do with it. 
So you can obviously change the seed. There's five different things, square, portrait, landscape, mobile portrait, mobile landscape. Best quality is the only opportunity right now. The feeling lucky. Let's just do a square here. And I want to actually try to do the anime style over here. There is some censorship on this one. Let's just do an anime character in style of Studio Ghibli. Candy World background. So this gets really creative here. Okay, so here, here we don't probably can use Studio Clip anime style of Studio Trigger. Let's let's try that one. Okay, so the Ghibli was the the thing over here, which was the problem. Let's go back into my library, and it's loading a bit slow here because I'm using a VPN. So here we have the pottery thing that we just randomly prompted out. Let's see how this turned out. Very high quality. There's a dust thing here, which we probably should have removed from thing. If the dust wasn't here, this could have been something that we could have posted into into database stock. Basically, this is like good high quality imagery, which which could could pass out. Okay, here we have a bit of like smoke coming out. There's no tea inside, so that's kind of inaccurate. But that's we can't expect it always to be very accurate physically in terms of physics and chemistry. Let's go back here. And here we have the anime characters. And I have to say, this is impressive. This is a good character. It's a bit more on the American side. This one too is like like an Ar an American animation. Let's let's try to do again like anime character in style of Dragon Ball 90s aesthetic 2D animation forest background. Let's see. So there seems to be some copyright things because we were not able to use Ghibli earlier. Let's go into, while these are generating, let's use a couple of these existing images. I'm going to be showing you the in-painting over here. So here we have a girl character and we can actually do some changes on this character. How did I actually open up the in-painting over here? This is a square image. It should be, should be available. But I guess we actually have to do it on, on, on the prompt page which is a problem. Maybe maybe I'm just not finding it. Okay, here we have the edit image. And now the aesthetic is wrong, not 90s. Okay, this is not 90s, but damn, this is Dragon Ball. This is Dragon Ball over here. Let's take this character over here. This is a good image. I like the background. It's a very vibrant. Something about this quality is very amazing. You look at the character, the way it's drawn. This is very 90s. Okay, and you can change the brush size here. And we're gonna say I'm gonna do a bit of a let's like that and then then let's put a brush size this size and say yellow hair and let's see and then we'll be doing four different edits. As far as I know, you're not able to upload an image here and edit it like you can do with Midjourney right now. That in painting thing I to to me personally is getting a lot more important on my work when I'm working on thumbnails, when I'm doing anything of uh, any cell of a nature in, in terms of like image editing. This is mega important. So having a good in painting tool and something that gives us flexibility. There's obviously these copyright problems when it comes to. Okay, so one of the problems that happens here is it did a yellow hair, but the style is no longer the same. So the prompt, you know, this is no longer anime style. So maybe we, we, we should have done something different, but it was able to do it. It was able to change change the thing. So the in-painting does work. The in-painting does work, but it was not able to keep the consistency on the style. Maybe we're just gonna do a one more image over here. Anime style, 2D, 80s aesthetic. It's not. Let's not do the photorealistic over here. We know that it's already able to do that. So. I am very impressed by it. And there's also the seed, which you can always store. It always also gives you like prompt images here. So you can kind of like looking for a certain sub style. I haven't seen any like difference in style when using different resolutions. So that's something uh, might happen. So here it kind of shows differently. So here it's an anime style and here not, here not. And this is not a hat, I, at least not in my opinion. But let's, and let's blonde hair let's see if we can see if we can make this happen you know this in painting tool i think i would like it to have a bit smaller than this because there's a lot of small spots they might want to change and because these are trained all on other people's arts you can see their art signatures over there like this is kind of <laughs> this is not nice um let's put up a bit of there from two so let's see 
if, if we can make an interesting change on it. Let's see if it's actually able to consistently keep the style of the original image. Midjourney is really good at that. So the Midjourney is in-painting tool, which we I did a video about this months ago, but that is able to really replicate. It's like the Midjourney style is interesting because it's not able to produce certain styles when you prompted that stuff, even if you give reference images. But on the in-painting tool, it's able to keep it consistent. So, okay, we can clearly see the in-painting tool is not consistent. This one, maybe teeny bit is following the same similar style over here. But yeah, the anim uh, the style changed. This is not like anime drawing. This looks like a, a deviant art, like comic book thing. So this is not good in terms of that. So maybe the in painting is actually working a lot better on, you know, real life images than it's on actual anime. But that's kind of my what I think I have to really share about Imogen. I think it's a good platform. It's free to use. It can do anime art. It can do real life images. It's able to do a lot of things. Are these, do you have copyright to these images? I don't think so. So that's something that's a maybe a negative. People want to sell images. People want to use them on promotional works. So that might be a bit of a trick. There is also the, I wonder where we can actually go into manage account. I think here is the ability to change the subscription was well, going to very quickly. No, this is not not where we're supposed to be thank you there seems to be some quote on the daily generations but it doesn't tell you that so that's kind of interesting but by far i have to say this is the best free thing you can currently use and it's just really impressive guys i mean just have to say give it really the props props to them and as i said like earlier on my previous videos these things are going to get better and this is going to be more competitive and more bigger and better versions are going to become out of the existing ones and more free stuff is going to be available. So in five months, we are probably not going to be paying for any of this stuff anymore. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, 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 and like. See you next time. Cheers.